Good morning, Sabres. This is Alora Strong and Sage Newman. And this is your Sabre News. This week's special broadcast is all about homecoming, with a recap on the pep rally, game, dance, and the homecoming court. We're going to kick this off with a brief recap of the pep rally. Let's see what Kalia Clark, Annalise Gonzaga, Lizzie Walsh, Kayla Johnson, Malia Delefus, Elena Ong, Vedant Mehta, and Anastasia Sinclair put together. This year's pep rally was a huge success. We had fantastic performances from the Sabre Regiment and the South Mech Cheer Squad. We also had presentations from the fall sports teams and the homecoming court. Here's a brief recap of this year's pep rally, as well as some behind the scenes interviews with those who helped make it a success. band getting ready for the pep rally? Um, we're working very closely with Mr. Garcia and Mr. Creech uh, to coordinate for the pep rally um, on Friday so the band gets to perform and uh, we get to highlight them as well as uh, make sure that we introduce homecoming court and uh, get to see the cheerleaders and football teams as well. And it should be a really good event for everybody. team getting ready for the pep rally? Uh, we're really we're preparing more for the game than we are the pep rally itself um, you know because the the pep rally and the homecoming festivities are you know that the things that surround the game so we're focusing on the game so the pep rally can be uh, a focal point for the rest of the school and all the other athletic teams um, which is something that we really appreciate you know on the football side of it um, but we're focusing more on, on the game to where when the pep rally and the festivities for homecoming are there, they're more enjoyable. too many details. How are you, a cheerleader, preparing for the pep rally? Mostly just everybody getting in the spirit for homecoming, um, getting excited, getting saber spirit. Um, we've been coming up with um, what we're putting in the pep rally over the past two weeks, um, things like music and then anything else that we normally would put in the pep rally um, and trying to make it exciting for students to watch. Um, since last year we had the parade, we're trying to make it a little bit more exciting for students to watch and trying to get prepared is a little bit of a <laughs> a task but we're getting there it's almost there so so how are you encouraging the cheerleaders to get ready for this pep rally um i'm just trying to get their flaws under control <laughs> their mistakes so like um elizabeth said yeah we're just trying to prepare uh, give y'all a show that so y'all can have something to get the crowd hyped for the game and, you know, just have fun at the pet rally. Just bring out some fun. <laughs> This year's pep rally was a huge success, and we cannot wait to see what they have planned for next year. That was great. Next up, the game. Unfortunately, the Sabres suffered a defeat against Harding homecoming weekend, but there were many highlights that deserve recognition. 
Let's see what Aiden Bone, Romy Gibbons, Leslie Tawala, Trindy Powell, Marquis Watford, Cheyenne Spencer, Janet Amos, and Philip Masakoy put together. The homecoming game took place on October 18th and was full of tense moments. We interviewed players and coach Evans and Montroy to get an insider's opinion. Stick around to the end of the video for a special game highlight. Hey guys, I'm Bryson Nesbitt. I play tight end here at South Mech and I'm class of 2021. My name is Quan Weber, class of 2020 and I play wide receiver. Jaheen Roberts, safety, 12th grade. Uh, Zach Cowan, long snapper, 12th grade. Hi, my name is Jalen Russian. I'm a senior at South Mech, and I play cornerback for DB. Great. Um, so, homecoming, is it a lot of pressure to perform well um, uh, in a game? You know, for me, it's really just you just go out there and play. Nothing really changes. Uh, nah, ain't no pressure. We're going to treat it like any other regular season game. Go out here, do our best, and try to play as hard as we can to get a W this week. Now, I go into every game with the same mindset that um, we should be focused and we should, go, we should come with the same intensity and just have fun every single snap. And how exactly do you prepare for games? Um, well, really, all I do is snap. So I snap every day, but these guys, you know, they go through the same schedule each day, trying to perfect their craft, so. Cool. I prepare for a game by uh, eating good and hydrating well, like making sure my body's in shape so I'm healthy enough for the game so I won't get injured during the game, and I'm prepared for it. Do you have any pregame rituals? Pray. Oh, yeah, of course. I always got to have some fruit snacks. Always before the game. Fruit snacks in the cold get ready to do. <laughs> uh, I put on my left sock before my right one. That's about it. That's about it. Go Sabres. Let's get a win. All right. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, I'm Coach Matt Montroy. Uh, I'm a social studies teacher up at the high school, and I am the defensive coordinator. Great. So, um, is there any extra pressure because of homecoming, or are you just preparing like a normal game? Uh, I'm preparing like a normal game. I'm expecting to win the football game. We're going to go out there, and we're going to compete the way we always do, uh, execute, and get a little bit better. Great. Um, how do you normally prepare for a game? Like, what kind of, what kind of drills do you run? <laughs> <laughs> Drill-wise, um, every week we tend to do shot clock shed, which is getting off blocks. Um, we work depending on what position it is. Uh, secondary works their coverage skills and then coming, uh, reading their triggers and coming downhill and attacking. Linebackers read their keys on the line. They have to actually see what the line is doing to go attack that uh, based on whatever run formations they come out in. D-line, uh, they're going to get off and use the slide to work on their get off and technique and their hand use. I'm Coach Joe Evans, head football coach at South Mecklenburg High School. All right, so how are you preparing for your uh, the guys obviously are out here practicing hard, um, working hard in the weight room, and putting the game plan together and making sure we're going to get right. How, are, or how have you done in the past playing against Harding? Uh, in the past, the past couple years, Harding's been really good. Um, you know, they had a, a good team a couple years ago that won the state championship, so you know, hadn't gone our way a few times, but you know, we're looking to change that Friday. How, or are you ready for the game? Uh, well, it's Tuesday, so not yet. But Friday, we will be. All right. Thank you. Is that, that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. What will you get better at practice so you can win your next game? Uh, I think we have to go back to fundamentals. We have a bye week, so we're going to get better uh, in regards to you know tackling, actually getting our line and our assignment, our keys down so we can execute a little bit better. Um, come out against Barry and get the win. How will you all push yourselves to be better to be able to win your next game? Well, I mean, we'll we'll stay in the weight room like we always do. Um, we'll stay hard. We'll stay hard working in practice. You know, we'll compete in practice, and we'll do you know the little things day in and day out to make us successful. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. You do a great job. Now let's take a look at the South Mech 2019 homecoming court. First off, SMTV would like to send a huge congratulations to Brianna Tejeda, our 2019 homecoming court queen. Let's see what Clara Apollo, Alora Strawn, Sarah Williams, Anila Desai, Rennie Courier, Riley Malay, Sophia Healy, and Taylor Dalrymple and I put together. Hi 
guys, my name is Amaya Crawford. Hola, mi nombre es Amaya. I'm running for your 2019 homecoming queen. I'm your student body vice president. I'm also a captain of the cheer team, and I participate in a lot of clubs outside of school, and I'm also a competitive dancer. I think you guys should vote for me because I represent the diversity here at our school and here at South. Um, I'm also very involved, and I love school spirit, and I love being around people at South, and I'm really excited to be a part of this amazing club. <laughs> Hi, I'm Evelyn Reyes. I'm part of the NHS. I'm the creator and president of Yoga Club. I'm also a part of Model UN. I think I want you guys to vote for me because my mom always wanted to run for homecoming queen, but she got pregnant at a really young age, so she never had the confidence and time to run for something like this. So I want her to live this through me. Thank you. The second, runner up, Emily Ray. Hi, my name is Brianna Tejeda. Um, I was in Fila for about two years. I've been a South Mac Sabre for four, and you guys should vote for me because I show school spirit. Hey everybody, I'm so shocked. I'd like to thank everybody that voted for me, um, or voted in general. Uh, I am like speechless and I just feel so happy and like great that you guys voted for me and I'm, I'm really proud. Thank you so much. And finally, coverage of the first homecoming dance we've had in 23 years. This year's homecoming dance was one for the history books. Let's see what Cypress McCoy, Cassie Carpenter, Riley Anderson, John Bryan, Morgan Parker, Valerie Robinson, and Kayla Bell put together. All right, Jacob, so what do you think about the new homecoming dance this year? I think this should be fun. Hopefully. That's good. What are your plans for after homecoming? I go to like an after party or something like that. Do you have any friends you're going with? Mm -hmm. Going with the boys. That's good. How do you feel about this year's homecoming? Well, for homecoming, I think it's like a really cool idea. Just one, it's just such a cool dance, and it's like all grade levels can go to it. For like in middle school, we had like an eighth grade social and everything, but it was never fun because some people have friends in like sixth grade or seventh grade and I was never a big person for dances and stuff. Very good. Overall, just like, I really cool. Oh, you're doing this thing? Okay. Um, do you have like any plans for the dance or anything like before or after? Um, well, for after homecoming, my friend is having like an uh, after party, I guess, but it's more of just kind of a sleepover for friends. So, so that's really cool. Mm -hmm. This is what you came for.
have for today. We hope you enjoyed this week's recap <clears throat> of the South Mech Homecoming. Don't forget to check out our news blog, The Saber Voice. All SMTV info, Saber podcasts, important links, and school news updates can be found there. You can access our website at bit.ly slash The Saber Voice. You should also be sure to follow us on Instagram, at Twitter, at South Mech Media. DM us if you want to share something that you want to be on SMTV. To watch previous broadcasts, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, South Mech TV. From all of us here at SMTV, this has been Alora and Sage. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.